everybody I'm back with another tutorial and in this one um, it's gonna be my first Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and um, <coughs> excuse me um, this tutorial is going to cover something that I haven't seen yet and that is uh, a little bit of performance optimization for the editor because as everyone probably now knows at least anyone who has used Unreal Engine 4 the new slate interface is heavily uh, is very 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 resource heavy. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, kind of tone everything down a bit until you're ready to take your high resolution high resolution screenshots, and so you guys can work in an optimal environment. First of all, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a quick thing is that is show FPS. Uh, it seems like people have been looking for this and haven't been able to find it, at least in a few tutorials I've seen. There's also stats, um, which just shows you what messages will pop up when you hit the play button, basically. So, uncheck that. Let's see, does it bring up? No, just that. Okay, another thing you can do <coughs> is uh, there's two keys over here game mode, immersive mode. If I remember correctly, game mode just gets rid of all the UI. Yeah, gets rid of all the UI, the grid, everything like that. Everything that you won't see in, uh, gets rid of everything that won't be shown in when you hit like the play button, for example. So I'm going to bring that back. And then F11, which is that other button, is immersive mode. That just takes it to full screen. I believe, yeah, it's just for the editor, so you can go into full screen, move stuff around, um, cool little setting, I enjoy it a lot. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is um, um, <coughs> one thing you can do to improve uh, um, your FPS is uncheck real time, and uh, what that will do is just freeze all things, like all um, anything that is moving or um, like for example if you have a particle effect it'll stop the particle effect um, it vastly improves FPS so now let's go ahead and yep back in real time let's see what it did hmm. all right so, the most important thing that I, don't, I haven't seen very many people go into is, um, let's see, I believe it is window, maybe not, quick settings, yes, quick settings, engine scalability settings. This is where you can set the quality of the editor. Uh, you can change the resolution scale, which is most PC-centric people know that will just downgrade the resolution of the viewport. Um, view distance, um, that changes like the LOD of the terrain, changes all the LODs if you have LODs on your objects. So you, if you want, you can set it to epic. It's going to look very good. There's not going to be any artifacting. Sorry, I got a phone call. Okay, so as you can see, I'm running about 50 FPS, maybe 60 at epic. Um, everything looks gorgeous, got some nice lens flares, but 60 frames a second is not ideal for editing, especially when it drops down to 50, 40, when you pull back and you want to see everything. So I can just go up here and change it. Engine scalability, I can change it to high, which gives me a little bit more. It doesn't eke out very much. If I want to change it again, I can change it down to medium. And as you can see, for all intents and purposes, the quality is not dropped enough that I cannot continue to do my job and make some really nice environments. Eventually you might have to bump it up at least to see what it looks like because things will change uh, when you jump up that uh, quality. You can even set it to low. 
and quite frankly it still looks fantastic and it's a much more friendly working environment that you can work at a lot um, a lot better pace as you can see the movements smooth everything's just much 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 better and if you, I mean the uh, landscape editor also is quite slow in that kind of mode so let's just go to tip just see what it runs like let's change this to maybe 0.3 oh yeah it runs just super smooth it's like butter maybe uh, 0.5 it's a bit strong, but you you get the point. The uh, the new landscape editor is extremely versatile and powerful. I'll probably do another tutorial on that. But first thing I wanted to do is get on here to show you guys how to get this running on your machine because I was having some trouble at first, and I was looking through the forums, couldn't find much. So it, it, it took some digging around for me to find that. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, I'm going to try and get to the destruction series. I keep on putting it off um, because I'm kind of... Uh, I, I have to basically move and the destruction series is kind of too big for me to do right now. So uh, I, um, I went ahead and did this little tutorial. I'll probably do a few more little tutorials. I'm probably going to do the destruction series in this just because I'm more familiar with it now and um, it's basically the it's gonna handle it the same way as UDK that's all I can say it's not gonna be pretty much any different um, in terms of workflow it's just gonna be a lot easier a lot nicer to do it in here so anyways hope you guys like this tutorial I'll talk to you guys later